Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to take a look at you know development in the financial system in relation to what you've been talking about in the financial system and the regulators you know in the financial system. Um, in the last week of June, FCMP Group and Aiko Insurance PLC made key announcements to the financial uh, market and what FCMB Group announced is the proposed acquisition uh, of AECO Pensions through its subsidiary, FCMB Pensions. Uh, AECO Insurance PLC also made the same announcement to the financial market, um, you know, the same day, talking about their proposed sale of their 70% equity stake in AECO Pensions to FCMB pensions. So this transaction uh, you know, was announced as something that is being proposed by those two uh, you know, key parties to the transaction. And if you take a further look at it, AICO pensions is 70% owned by AICO Insurance PLC, while the remaining 30% is owned by other um, you know, shareholders in AECO pensions. Uh, but as we speak, the transaction that is being proposed is that FCMB pensions is looking to buy the 70% uh, you know, stake of AECO insurance in AECO pensions, so which means buying them out of that subsidiary. And at the same time, there are other key shareholders in AECO pensions uh, that are also looking to sell 26% of their stake to FCMB pensions. So at the end of the transaction, what is going to happen is AICO Insurance PLC will no longer be the owner of AICO pensions. That is one. Second is FCMB pensions will then end up owning 96% of AICO pensions. Then in that case, in the finance world, we begin to talk about, um, you know, that, is, that in itself is called acquisition, or let me say a proposed acquisition. And then at some point, we'll begin to talk about merger. So merging those two businesses, merging the bigger business, which, which is the FCMB pensions with the, uh, the, the business they, they plan to acquire, which is AICO pensions. But there is one key element, you know, that we have to talk about here and mention in relationship with what we have been discussing in the financial system for, for some weeks now. Uh, you know, we've been taking a look at the roles of regulators in the financial system. And the proposed transaction that I've just talked about now, you know, wouldn't go through if two key regulators do not approve uh you know that uh you know transaction the first of them is the national pension commission they have to approve the transaction they have to approve the proposed acquisition of f of aico pensions by fcmb pensions at the same time the federal competition and consumer protection commission also have to they also have to approve uh you know that that transaction so so it means those two parties that are involved in the proposed uh you know uh transaction uh they are fully ready but you know they need the approval of those two key um you know industry regulators as i have talked about them earlier so what we should expect in the next couple of months is that they are able to get approval from those two regulators and then afterwards we'll be talking about uh, you know fcmb uh, pensions as acquired aico pensions so this is an indication of one of the key roles that we've been talking about that regulators play in the financial system or let me say in the financial market there is a second major announcement in the early month of july 
um, on the 8th of July precisely, Access Bank of Nigeria PLC. That bank is the number one bank in Nigeria as we speak. Um, and they have sort of subsidiaries uh, you know, in major countries in, in Africa. And they made a major announcement um, on the 8th of July. And the announcement is that they plan to acquire Kavmant Bank in Zambia. So Kavmant Bank in Zambia is a wholly owned subsidiary of Kavmont Capital in Zambia. So through Access Bank Zambia, Access Bank Nigeria plans to acquire uh, in a government bank in Zambia just so that they widen their, their footprint across Africa. That sounds good. But there is one key element that we have to take away from that in relationship with what we've been talking about on, the, on our lecture series, which is approval from or by the regulators. So it, this proposed transaction is also subject to the approval, uh, the approvals of uh, you know the, the relevant regulators in Nigeria, for instance, we know the Central Bank of Nigeria would have to uh, approve of of that transaction, and also the Central Bank of of Zambia, you know where the acquiry is based, we know will have to also uh, approve that transaction. So these two key announcements that were made in the past sort of three to four weeks are an indication of, of what the regulators do in the financial system or let me say in their respective industries. So we would like us to bear this in mind and then the next time that we meet there are a couple of que questions that could come up around the proposed transaction uh, you know around the, the FCMB pensions and IECO pensions for instance you know some analysts have you know said that that's a major transaction that will lift FCMB pensions from an asset under management perspective from number 10 in the pension industry to number six in the pension industry so that means it upscales you know the asset under management and further push them higher to the uh you know closer to the top sort of five industry you know players uh you know in, in terms of asset under management we will talk much about this in our upcoming series to have a better sense around how mergers and acquisitions you know, play a major role in the competition of industry players in the financial system and also industry players in non-financial system or in or in not in non-financial industry. Thank you for watching this today, but bear in mind that one of the key roles of regulators in the financial system or in any industry is to give approvals to some key transactions such as the ones that have been announced by FCMB as well as by Access Bank. Thank you for joining me today. Catch you the next time. Bye.